Hey, what is up guys? So I got a video of how speed roids can work, or speed droids, I'm not sure the exact pronunciation of them. But anyways, uh, I don't know everything that is going to be in the archetype, but basically it looks like a synchro based deck, but it does technically have a restriction. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the replay real quick, and then we'll kind of break it down later on. And he's going to be playing against Fluffles, uh, it's the Proj, thanks for sending in this replay, because I didn't really understand how speed droids work. But there is a really good combo in here, and I think that it is pretty strong, especially against decks that can just get out like one monster. But um, this is really, really strong. Um, but uh, obviously, um, you, you can't really make Quasar in this deck. You'll see that one of them has the effects that you can only actually get out wind monsters, um, which we'll get into again. I'll try to explain everything later on uh, once we slow it down and break it down for all the information here. But basically what you're able to do is you're able to misforms your opponent, and you get to take one of their monsters. And at that point, you're looking at easily... Uh, 4,000 plus damage. Again, you're sh kind of short of OTKing, and of course you can't special summon anything that is not wind. Now, he's stealing this monster essentially, so it's not like he's special summoning the monster, but uh, it's kind of cool he's using uh, Express Droid over here. I didn't think this card would ever see any play, but when you summon this card, you could add two Roid monsters, so I don't know if these actually go along with the actual archetype, like the Roids, like the trains, basically. <laughs> I don't understand uh, if they're supposed to go together, because they don't really have the same artwork. Maybe it's just coincidence, and it's kind of funny to see some old cards work well with the new cards. But anyways, let's go ahead and break it down so some of you guys can maybe get a better understanding if you didn't understand what the heck just happened in that duel. Alright, so let's go ahead and break it down step by step. So, uh, basically, the combo in this deck as of right now is to basically be able to misform your opponent, uh, from what I know, and you can just steal a monster. That's a pretty strong play, uh, especially if you're able to take someone that's relatively strong. So, this is Speed Droid uh, Beagle Max. Uh, his effect is if you control no monsters, just spot some of the card from your hand. When this card is normal or special, you can add one Speed Droid monster from your deck to your hand. You can only, uh, except for the same copy of itself, and you can only use the effect of um, his... Um, Beagle Max once per turn. So he's going to go ahead and activate that effect, and um, if you go into Log, you can actually see that he's actually added the uh, Taken Borg, or uh, Take, it's probably Taketon Borg, is probably the pronunciation, but knowing us in the teacher, you'll be like, Speed Roid Bug. But anyways, uh, if you control Wind Monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can tribute this card to special summon one Speed Roid to your monster from your deck. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing at that point. I was like, can this be any, like, better? And it says, also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, except wind monsters. So there's a huge downside to that. Obviously, with uh, Quick Draw Synchro, if I remember correctly, he is wind. But there's probably other things that can support the archetype to OTK. But for the most part, yeah, uh, there is a, a downside. But um, you can only special summon a uh, Taken Borg uh, once per turn, or Takenton Borg. Uh, anyways, so he's going to go ahead and... Uh, Add that to his hand. That's the basic uh, combo. Like that's what you want to uh, actually have in your hand. And obviously, it's basically these. That's like the primary uh, cards that you actually want. And of course, like you're gonna be able to search out any of the um, speedroid uh, monsters. So that's really good. Now, the Fluffle player over here makes Frightful Tiger, but we're not interested in really checking out Fluffles yet because uh, for the most part, they're just too mediocre. I mean, they, uh, like I said, they're getting more support. Uh, in the future, but uh, we'll have to see if it's actually viable. Anyways, he's going to go ahead and summon the uh, Beagle Max because uh, he doesn't control a monster. And then if you control Wind Monster, you can uh, special summon this card from your hand. And then you can attribute it to special summon a Speed Droid. So he's going to go ahead and attribute it and special summon a Speed Droid uh, Tuner from his deck. And I think when you special summon from the deck, there's it opens up a lot of doors for loops, but they're being really careful that like everything wants per turn. But anyways, with the Red Eyed Dice over here, when this card is normal or special, you get to talk about one speed roid monster you control except for dice and declare level from one through six so that that allows you to kind of go for a lot of different things in the extract remember guys though there is a downside you can only go for win stuff but he's going to go ahead and synchro up for this card which is a level four which is the old entity hastor now keep in mind guys he hasn't even used his normal summon of course uh, we do have the restriction again that he only bring out wins Next up, he's going to summon the double yo-yo over here. So when this card is normal summon, you can target one level three or lower speed red monster in your graveyard, and then you get to special summon it. So he's going to go ahead and activate that effect. He's going to go ahead and then bring back the um, red-eyed dice over here. And th what's cool with this is it doesn't negate the effect, and that's actually something that's kind of important. So he's going to go ahead and bust out Mistworm. And also this, oh, you probably should have went over this effect before you busted off the misform, but it's okay. So, uh, old entity has source. So, if this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you get to target one face up monster your opponent controls, and you get to equip this card from your graveyard to that target. While well, equipped by this effect, that monster can't attack. Also, its effects are negated. 
And if this card is equipped to a monster by its own effect and it leaves the field, take control of the monster that was equipped with this card. And I think we're getting this card relatively soon. So uh, maybe we can start stocking up on them if this archetype happens to be good in the future. So what he's able to do is he's able to activate Mistworm's effect and then uh, he's going to have this as a higher chain link and of course chain resolve backwards. So a uh, Hassor is then going to activate its effect. It's going to quickly equip um, the card over to um, the Frightful Tiger over here. And remember, he already activated Misform's effect. That's a, kind of an important uh, thing to uh, make a note of here. Um, but uh, he's going to go ahead and then MST his own card. And then um, by MSTing the Hastor over here, since it leaves the field, he is then able to steal uh, his opponent's monster. So, I mean, yeah, you could say, yeah, of course, you need multiple cards for the combo to work. However, uh, you know, it depends in the future what more, uh, you know, what other support comes out for it. And you guys want to see what speed raids do. I really don't know uh, too much about the archetype other than they are primarily, I would say, synchro based archetype. And then you can see now from here, he's going to go ahead and go for another uh, Taken Borg that he got for free with the effective express, uh, express Droid. So when you summon this card, you get to add two red monsters from your graveyard to your hand, except for uh, himself. But uh, obviously, you probably don't want to add copies of himself anyways. But uh, being able to add two of them, and then of course, this one lets you special summon uh, from the uh, deck. I think that this card is just absolutely crazy. But uh, yeah, and then he's going to go for the dice, and the dice lets him go ahead and synchro up into... Hold on, let's go back and pause real quick. So this is a Hyperspeed Droid Chain Barter, and... Uh, it is a generic uh, synchro monster that is a level 5 and it says that it can make a second attack during each battle phase. At the start of damage step, if this card attacks or is attacked, it gains 200 attack. And it's kind of mediocre, but um, the main effect is that um, you basically get attacked twice. But it also has another effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished speed raid monsters and add it to your hand. You can only special summon one of them per turn, but pretty much I think that this is basically used to just kind of establish um, dominance over the board, like you can get rid of like two monsters, and that's really important now, especially with everyone playing Clown Blade. You don't want them to have monsters, so I think this card can definitely have use to get rid of that because you can attack over the Thousand Blades, and of course you can attack over the um, the in what was it uh, Intermage uh, Clown Trick or Trick Clown, uh, and that's really important, especially when you look at the future of the game. But anyways, he's just going to be able to attack twice. It does actually gain extra attack. And keep in mind, what, if you read the effect, uh, at the start of damage step, it gains 200 attack. And um, I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm pretty sure that means it's permanent. Uh, it just keeps on gaining more and more attack. So that's kind of cool, because um, it doesn't say until like the end phase or intend, until the end of your opponent's uh, next turn. It's just, just at the start of damage step, it just gains 200 attack. So I believe that works forever. Like You, you can keep on getting cards stronger, but pretty much... Um, after you've you know established uh, this field, I think it's pretty nasty, especially if you can you know next turn follow it up with a droid, you can kind of reset your stuff. So uh, being able to you know bounce back you know uh, your opponent's stuff, then of course you're able to negate an opponent's card. That's really strong. Uh, yeah, he did have to MST it, um, but uh, nonetheless being able to potentially take a monster. Because remember, guys, uh, let's say he didn't attack over that monster. Uh, the effect is negated and it cannot attack. I wish I could mouse over that card again, but that's a pretty cool archetype. Um, I'm not sure how well it's going to be in the future. We're going to have to see the new support, but yeah, they don't really, to me, they look like a completely different archetype. What they look like is like um, board game pieces. Like, uh, I don't know what this would be considered, like a little like robot bug, but they, they've got dice and these are like, oh, I forgot what they're called. I think they're called tops. I remember uh, when I was really little, they had these tops with little, like, um, they're like before Beyblades, they had these tops where you'd spit them and they'd have these wings and they would, like, hit each other. But it looks like a much more intense version. Probably in the TCG, we would change these to, like, you know, not knives. They're probably going to be, like, little... Uh, I'll replace them with walkie-talkies probably in the TCG. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And thanks, Proz, for sending in this replay because I really had no idea how to build the deck. And that's a really cool combo with the uh, Hastor. I know you got to MST it. But unless, maybe you happen to have other back row. Maybe you can, uh, you know, destroy one of your back row, destroy one of your opponent's, uh, you know, uh, cards or something like that where you can get more utility than just MSTing your own card. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes, signing out.